Up next is Knob Creek 12 year, and we're going to compare it to what was up last, which was Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. Hello and welcome to the Whiskey Closet. This is the Up Next series where I taste a bourbon. Tonight it's Knob Creek 12 and I compare it to the last bourbon that I tasted. Knob Creek 12 year is, go figure, 12 years old. It's 100 proof. Knob Creek is a Jim Beam product along with things like Booker's and Basil Hayden's. Uh, I've always been a big fan of Knob Creek and this is their 12 year product, which is, you know, uh, that's old. That's very old for a bourbon. So it is definitely got a little bit of a kind of peanutty vibe it's got i don't know like a little bit of kind of a dusty something i don't know maybe it's like peanut shells but it also has this very interesting is it sort of syrupy not really is it almost like mapley not quite kind of like magic markery little like nail polish i don't know there's something about this nose that is, it's just, it's, it is different. It's not like rich and sweet and spicy. I, yeah, it's a really interesting markery kind of something. It's not like it's off-putting, but it is quite distinctive. Let's taste it. That's good. Some of those negative notes from the nose definitely carry through to the palate. A little bit astringent, whatever that acetone sort of thing is. <laughs> that ain't right. But that's in the palette too. But it also has this beautiful barrel finish. It's rather sweet on the finish. And up front, it is lacking a certain viscosity that I wish that it had. I wish that it had a richer kind of mouthfeel. Mmm. Suddenly getting strong vanilla vibes that I was totally missing on my first nose and taste. That's really interesting. Now that that vanilla kind of idea has entered into my brain, it's taken away some of the magic markerness. That is so fascinating. That is why this is so fun. You really got, if you're tasting stuff at home and you're trying to be like, oh, I don't know, I can't do this. I'm bad at picking out notes. Don't worry about that. Just start thinking words. <laughs> and just the fact that you put a word in your brain will change the experience of what you're getting. It doesn't matter if you're right. It's all about the experience. Yeah, that nuttiness too on the nose. I like that. I like I like bourbons that have a little nutty character. I know some people don't, but that's always been something that I've enjoyed. That's nice. The surprising thing is, I wouldn't guess that that was 12 years old. I was actually really a little nervous uh, when I first picked this up. In fact, a friend got this for me. Thank you, Matt. Because I thought, that at 12 years old, it might be just too much oak, too dry, too strong and astringent and that I wouldn't enjoy it. It is not that at all. I've actually had the Knob Creek 15 at a bar. Again, same story. I was like, well, I want to taste this. It'll be the oldest thing I'd had at that time. Let me try it out. Thinking that I wouldn't like it. No, I like that a lot too. I would love to find a bottle of a 15 here someday too. And I would love to compare the 15 and the 12 side by side. Yeah, it's got some nutty, it's got some caramel, it's got some vanilla, definitely some of that sweet charred oak in there. Palette is a little thin, but it is surprisingly sweet. Simple sweetness, light kind of corn sweetness. It has a decent finish. It does kind of last. And it does have a bit of an oak impact, but it's it's subtle. It's not it's not like wowing you with dry oak. Solid bourbon, I will admit, not over the moon for it. Let's compare it to Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. In the Up Next series, I just compare whatever I'm drinking tonight to whatever I was drinking last time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. That's kind of the fun. It's just sort of random pairings. This is a very random pairing. These couldn't be any more different. This is such a kind of sweet corn thing. A little funky, very funky, very simple sweetness. And then a shock of spice and then it's done. Actually, it goes back to a weird sweetness at the end. Oof, <laughs> that is not doing it for me tonight. <laughs> I know that there's times where I'll be in the mood and I'll like that. Next to the Knob Creek 12, it's not doing it. Oh, the Knob Creek 12 <laughs> smells so mature side by side with the smoke wagon. Oh, no contest, the Knob Creek's got that all day. All right, well, this has been another Up Next in the Whiskey Closet. Thanks again for watching. 
Tune in next week when I'm gonna taste the Knob Creek 12 year against the Heaven's Door Decades series. This is a good bourbon, and this is gonna be a fun comparison, so don't miss that one. All right, see you next week. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.